got a SEC contest in Kentucky. You think what you've seen from them on film so far? Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, really, they're, you know, they're really close to being six and zero when you look at them. They're five and one right now. You know, offensively, their quarterback's been playing well for them since he started playing last year. He finds ways to win games. They do a good job in the running game with formations and, you know, trying to soften the edges and create seams inside. And then they'll, you know, they'll take their shots down the field and try to get some explosive plays that way. They don't turn the ball over a lot when you look at them. I think there's like five turnovers total the whole the whole deal. Um, they really don't get sacked. Um, combination of protection and the quarterback's ability. So, I mean, they play they they have they play complimentary football with their defense for what they're doing, and they're winning. So, you know, we know it's a challenge, and we'll have to play well and prepare, and you know, get ready for an SEC home game. Is Stephen Johnson maybe the most mobile quarterback y'all have faced, but maybe with the exception of Charleston Southern, given what they do? Um, I would say certainly he's in the top tier. You know, he's a guy that, you know, works to be a quarterback and stay in the pocket. But, you know, if it breaks down, he can buy time to throw it down the field or he can take off and run. So, obviously, you got to account for that. And then in the run game, he, he can be a runner uh, from that standpoint. So, yeah, he's a guy that we've had to count for probably more than some other guys. You make a big priority out of affecting passers. How do you affect a quarterback that's used in that fashion? Well, I mean, you still try to affect him the same way. You just have to be conscious with your rush lanes and try to really work to collapse the pocket from outside in and, you know, try to keep the guy in the pocket as best you can from that standpoint. But you still got to try to find ways to affect the guy and, you know, make him move his feet like last week when, like the interception Brandon had, that wasn't really a sack, but really the guy had a choice Either I'm going to throw this ball right now or I'm going to get hit. And he chose to throw it, then we picked it. So that's a good example, that interception that Brandon had of trying to affect the quarterback to make him make a bad decision. So you're not a muck rush guy? You're still going to go after him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. I mean, that doesn't mean that you're not going to. I really don't know what that word means. What does that mean? Uh, it's, it's a phrase for, like, engaging on blocks but not really going upfield. Yeah. Well, there's, 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 rush. there's six rush lanes for four guys. And if you don't collapse it outside in and you're stuck on a block, you can still get, um, you know, an athletic guy. I mean, you still have to collapse the pocket. In other words, you have six gaps. You have to shrink the pocket outside in and take the air out of the pockets. If not, if you're rushing four guys, there's six gaps there. So somehow you got to shrink those gaps. And the way you do it is you constrict the, you constrict the pocket. You break the quarterback down into a quadrant. You tell the outside guys to close to the upfield shoulder. Two inside guys are going to press to the near cheeks, and you try to collapse the guy like that. You mentioned Brandon's uh, interception. Statistically, the last couple of games, he's had pretty good games. Mm -hmm. Have you seen improvement? From I have. Games? I mean, you know, I, I tell you, I think he's done a really good job of tackling in space. I mean, if you go back and look, the Auburn game, he made a tackle on the third down. And really, in that series, we got off the field on the first third. The, the first third down, when it was third and nine, he made a play on the screen. Um, I think he's tackling really well. He's running to the ball. I see really good improvement out of him, so we'll continue to work and develop him some more, but certainly like the progress he's made. Anything changed with him the past few weeks? Change as in? Not. As in prompt, that sort of performance? Uh, I think, well, I think that, you know, it's a little bit like a lot of guys. I think that plays are coming to him now. You know, I think that there were probably some plays there early on that maybe didn't get made or didn't turn out that way got through it the other way, you know, whatever, um, that are being made. And that's why you got to be attention to detail and be on top of your stuff because you never know when those plays are come. But over the last couple of weeks, he has, you know, made some production and, and shown up. Chris Rayford had a strong training camp and has kind of continued that mm -hmm. momentum. What's kind of been different about him the last few weeks? Um, I think he's a guy that um, – you know, he, he's very conscious in, in what he likes to play ball. He's conscious in his detail. He likes to play ball. Um, certainly expect him to make plays because he's one of our top corners and, you know, ask him to do a lot of things, particularly in the man coverage aspect of it. Um, I, I just think he's playing solid for us and what he's doing. So hopefully he'll continue to do that. Benny Snell's kind of been one of those up-and-coming backs in the mm -hmm. SEC. What have you seen from him this year? Well, similar to last year, I mean, he's a good athlete. He's got vision. He um, – he can find seams. He's got ability to run through some blocks, you know, so you got to make sure that as you tackle a guy like that, you accelerate your feet on contact so he can't run through you. Uh, you've always got to leverage the formation or leverage the blockers to make sure the guy can't bounce it out and accelerate. And then as you do that, you got to build the wall inside to make sure there's no seam. So he's really patient. He's got good vision, and he's got some play strength. So you combine that with his athletic ability, it allows him to be a good player.